Good evening, everybody. This is Sweat, and welcome to what I think is one of the very first looks at the gold AN-94 in Black Ops 2. Now, the AN-94 is the very last weapon that you unlock in Black Ops 2. It's unlocked at level 55 commander. You guys may remember I did do that video yesterday on just the standard AN-94, and it was a video where I happened to get the Swarm kill streak, which is also the last kill streak you unlock. Pretty uh, pretty lucky gameplay, if I do say, my, say so myself. That was an extremely quick TDM game, and, uh, and everything kind of fed right to me but I had to use the AN-94 quite a bit in order to get the um, in order to get the gold camouflage unlock for it because as you guys know and uh, and I get a lot of questions still after I covered it so basically in order to get gold camouflage you have to start off with five headshots then 10 headshots 20 30 40 50 uh, 75 and then 100 total headshots with the weapon now after you get 100 total headshots with the weapon then you unlock a series of other challenges such as uh, revenge kills uh, get I think 10 revenge kills 10 double kills you have to get 150 kills with the weapon with no perks 150 kills with the weapon with no attachments but you can do that at the same time you can run a bare bones AN-94 or bare bones weapon of your choice and you get um, and you can just do it at one time and uh, and yeah, you get all those 150 kills, and you don't have to do it twice for the attachments, and then do it again for the for the perks. So just keep that in mind whenever you're setting up your class. So uh, so that is an option. It will save you some time. Uh, after you do that, you also have to get 10 headshot or oh, not headshot, uh, 10 long shot medals. Uh, with this weapon now 10 long shot medals doesn't seem like it'd be difficult But it was actually the very last thing that I had to do when I unlocked it because there are just not that many really long lines of sight in black ops 2 and long shots for the assault rifles are Significantly longer than the weapons than the uh, submachine guns that I was used to trying to get when I was getting the MS um, MRSC and the um, and uh, forget the vector K10. That's what that's what the other one was. So long shot medals are not exactly easy with this. What I found myself doing was literally sitting in the back, and that was a really funny time for uh, for the host to migrate. This is immediately thereafter. Uh, what I found myself having to do was sit in the some of the very far back stretches of domination games that overlook B with a uh, you know with a higher uh, elevation and look all the way into the buildings on the other side of B into the enemy's buildings of higher elevation sit in the back and just kind of you know wait for somebody to go in those in those overlooking uh, spots and uh, and try my best to get a couple of bursts on their uh, on their dome on the on the headshots so I can get quicker kills because generally it takes uh, much longer to kill people at longer ranges like you know like most weapons and uh, and that was one of the few times that people really had an opportunity to evade or escape or evade your fire so uh, that's what I found myself having to do if you having if you're having trouble getting hung up getting gold camouflage with the assault rifles in particular because those long lines of sight are, uh, are particularly difficult to get uh, to be honest with you so uh, what you can see is some of these game plays are strung together but this game actually is uh, where I get once again the orbital V set and that thing is so powerful once you get it and uh, and quickly got dogs right after that left a little bit of footage with dogs I believe in the end but uh, to be honest with you um, I guess it really depends on what map. You know, it's like anything else. If the enemy has an opportunity to get a higher elevation, they're going to do that. You know, they're going to climb out of the way of those dogs. And then once again, they're uh, they're able to to shoot the dogs and kill the dogs and uh, pretty easily as well. So something to consider when you're doing your uh, your final kill streaks. I tell you, the enemy got the um, the what do you call it? The swarm, which is a series of of hunter killer drones. On, uh, on us in one game and even though they had gotten the swarm on us we were able to st and there's this particular map we were able to stay under plaza I believe it is we were able to stay under cover next to B and hold our two objectives throughout the entire swarm attack hardly take any casualties and we were still able to win the game so uh, for as OP as some people may think the kill streaks are there are definitely ways to counter them and uh, and of course getting inside is one of those ways so hope you guys enjoyed the short look at the gold AN94 working on uh, some emails with Machinima to try to get some gold guns up there. So I hope you guys are, uh, are ready for the onslaught on there. But uh, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy the video, one of the, again, very first looks at the gold AN-94. I really appreciate a like rating and possibly sharing the video because uh, it's a lot of grinding to get this camouflage. And uh, of course, I did it for you guys. So thank you again for watching. Videos you may have missed, that is the gold MSMC, I believe, on the bottom left. Video on the right is that other AN-94 video with the swarm killstreak attack if you are interested. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you again soon.